Hey guys, Ed here. Today we have this 2014 Chevy Spark and this video I would like to show you how to remove your passenger side door panel. So, open the passenger side door and over here we have the panel. And if we want to remove it, we will need actually these kind of tools. Flathead screwdriver, a little hook to remove these, this cover. Um, Phillips screwdriver and something like this. I'll explain you why later. So let's start. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take and open this lid carefully, trying not to scratch nothing because the plastic is very soft and it leaves marks on it. Uh, and remove this Phillips type screw and this Phillips type screw. So Take the screwdriver and remove. One, two. Okay, we have uh, both screws out, and as if you can see, they are different. So this one goes on top, the one with the flat head, and this one goes into the handle. So we'll leave the screws here for now. Let's remove this thing here, this cover. So what I'm doing, I'm taking a screwdriver over here and just trying to remove this plastic piece. Okay, it's being held by these clips, blue clips like this. Same thing with the panel right now, it's being held only by those clips. So to remove the panel, we have to unclip the panel from the door. So to, re so to unclip the, the panel, best way is to find the grip with your hand and just pull. Or you can take a flat screwdriver like this and carefully try not to scratch the paint get your screwdriver in and unpry the first clip. Once you have one clip out, it's easier to get other, other clips. They start coming out like this, easy. Okay, this is the second time I'm taking the panel off, that's why it comes off really easy. First time they come off harder, okay, so you just force it out. Once you're done and all the clips are disconnected, you just Raise the panel up, and that's it. Here we disconnect connectors, pull on the red pin here, and then you are able to press the black pin. And, and here, to remove this cover, you have to press this connector in, and you have the panel off. Just rest it there, and uh, so here is why I said you might need this tool because the clip might stay indoor, like in this case. So to remove it out, uh, to remove it, you might need to use something like this, or the hammer with the nail, nail puller will work fine, or screwdriver, but I just use it like this. Just to remove, okay? Same, after you remove this one, this clip, you can put it back in place, like this. And it's gonna function right, just like before. Okay, once you have the panel off, here, now you can start doing stuff you have to do. Okay, so now let's put everything back together. Now we're gonna do the same reverse exact procedure. Okay, so first thing, let's connect connectors. Clips. Put the red pin in, okay. Now, first top, okay, it should be aligned right by the window, all right, it's good and aligned, then align clips here and press on it, same thing here. Press on it and, and that's it. As you can see, it's very simple. Something's going on with the handle here. Okay, actually, I just had to press on it and it went into position. Um, yeah, now don't forget this clip, this plastic piece, put it in this flat head screw goes in on top and the second another screw goes in here 
and that's it that's how you do it actually it's very simple everyone can do this and uh, guys yeah if this helps press like and have a great day bye